We're alive! <laughs> <laughs> er, we're trying something different here. So it is much later than we anticipated, but that's okay. Sorry, it's my fault. Oh wait, it's it's still telling everyone. Now we actually are be, are able to see what you guys are saying in the in front of us because we're live streaming from an iPad instead. We're gonna try something new because IG has all these new live stream features. Hi, Fred. <laughs> so see, we could actually say hi immediately instead of checking our phones to see. Right. Who's talking to us? So we're being rude on our phones. Yeah. Instead of being rude and on our phones while we're live streaming, we're just going to try this new setup. And yeah. you guys let us know if it works and if you enjoy it more. Because uh, it's kind of like we're hanging out. We're drinking our coffee um, on this wonderful Coffee and Comics live stream. And I guess we should just get started. What's coming out? What's coming out? Not nothing. much. <laughs> Literally um, nothing. No, it's the... You know, was this like the? Is it, it is uh, so in my December twenty sixth. December twenty sixth. So the day after Christmas. Day after Christmas, Not which much is being released, except for a Kennedy X Men. See, I feel like it should be a big release day, considering how many people get gift cards and money and stuff for Christmas. So as a publisher, I would be like, hey, let's do some really big releases on you know, on the day after Christmas, <laughs> where everyone's going to have some extra disposable income. Maybe our people have no disposable income because they spent it all. Because they spent it all. Okay, that's the other side of the argument. <laughs> <laughs> just that sword. So, for Boom Studios, um, something that I have been trade waiting on oh. is Bone Parish. So Bone Parish. Bone Parish, we've talked about previously, it's Cullen Bun, and who... I, I admire, he's an excellent writer for, for horror and things like that, so uh, Bone Parish is coming out with a trade of 1 through 4, plus the new issue number 5. So if you guys were waiting on that one, the trade is out on, on Dece December 26th, right after Christmas, for you to spend your disposable income on. <laughs> if you have any left. If you have any left. Uh, <laughs> I forget about that part of the argument. <laughs> Ooh, hi from Malaysia. Hello, Malaysia. Hello, our Malaysian friends. I imagine, I wonder what time it is in Malaysia right What now. time is it in Malaysia? Please tell Banana us. Banana Zool. <laughs> Banana Zool. Banana I like Zool. that name too. <laughs> Hello, Tyler. <laughs> hi, Tyler. Oh, wait, I can actually wave. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I want to wave at everybody. I actually really like this. I'm gonna wave at. Hold on. I'm gonna wave at all of you guys. Oh, um, damn it! It won't let me. <laughs> all right, we'll try to wave at you if we get you. But um. So yeah, honestly, that's really it. Uncanny X Men number seven already. Already number seven mm -hmm. is coming out. Um, I didn't read the last one yet. It's been out for s seven weeks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Seven weeks of Uncanny X Men. Yeah. Holy crap! That's that's impressive. I'm I'm curious to see how many people are still are reading it weekly. And you know, I'm backed up. You're backed up in my nose. You're not <laughs> in my you're reading. A, you're a little bit of a snot girl right now. I'm a little bit of a snot girl right now. <laughs> not as cute, but this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's midnight in Malaysia. Midnight. Oh my goodness. Well, we're happy to be a part of your uh, midnight activities. <laughs> what? I'm waving. Wave. Cool. Awesome. We're just going to wave at everybody. I love this. <laughs> so, I mean, you're talking about Uncanny X-Men, but Image does still have does have some stuff coming out too, which oh, What do they have coming out? Man-eaters. Oh, Man, uh, I didn't catch that one. Man Eaters 4 is coming out this week, as well as Die, Die, Die 6. Die, 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 Die 666. Uh, that is, no, just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, that those are the comics that are coming out, and this very sad, light release day. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty happy with Man Eaters coming out. You know what? It's not such a bad thing, though, guys, because if you... Keep waving. Keep waving. Wave at everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so it's not such a bad thing that there aren't that many releases after Christmas because, I, I mean, I have a four-day weekend, luckily, and I'm excited that I get to... I've been catching up on a lot of my, my polls and stuff, so I'm stoked. 
I'm sure you're going to be able to catch up on a lot of stuff. Yeah, maybe today. Is there anything yeah. in particular that um, you wanted to catch up on to, to this weekend? Catwoman, I want to catch up on that. Yes. Oblivion Song, because that's been really good. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll try it again, but... Oh, but... I thought you liked it. No, I, I stopped reading it after the second one. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> um... Because there are other things that were more important to me. I prior, I, I, it's not on my priority list of <laughs> things to read. Right. Um, yeah, I'm excited to catch up on that. Um, I'm Kenny X-Men, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then I have a bunch of trades that I need to read. Yeah. You know, I still never read. I still, oh, I don't know if they can hear us. Um, can that's you probably hear? me because I mumble. Yeah, Jenna mumbles a lot. Um, <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, I still haven't read Monstrous. Mm-hmm. Still haven't done that. Monstrous. I have that trade. Do you I, have it? I have it. Oh, okay. I, was gonna I say. have the first of Gideon Falls and the first of Redlands. Mm-hmm. And Gideon Falls. That's on my list of uh, series to catch up on. I want. I want. If you when you finish your trade, hand it over to me so I can read it. Okay. Even though I have of of your trades, I have so many. Like I that I just didn't read. Saga. Like saga. Um. The the what's the witch and the divine. Um. The wicked. The wicked and divine. Sorry. The wicked and the divine. What else do I have of yours? Um. A lot. <laughs> a lot, yeah. That's okay. I'll end up uh, reading it eventually, maybe. I'm still trying to finish my Twin Peaks books, guys. <laughs> I have a lot of books. I have um, Horror Store, which I've been wanting to read. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just have a stack of books like this. Like Lots this. of books. Like this? All like, of these like trees this. behind I us? Need a, I need a bookshelf like this. Yeah. So if you guys want to send me one, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> do you guys have, like, what are, what are your organization techniques? Like, what do you guys do to organize your stuff? Like, I just have an Ikea bookshelf. I don't have any um, long boxes or, you know, short boxes or anything because I'm, I'm very particular in how things look, so I need my space, to, my organization to be very minimal and pretty. <laughs> like, I can't do a cardboard box in my living room. Come on. So, <laughs> so I like very nice shelving for my comics and geek-related stuff. But other than that, Jen and I were talking, well, we were at a friend's giving Christmas dinner last night. It was a potluck. A potluck dinner for Christmas. And someone brought up Mary Poppins, right? Because that Mary Poppins is in the movie right now. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, we were talking about Julie Andrews, right? Yes, and how amazing she is. And how amazing she is. Did you guys know that Julie Andrews voices um, as one of the people in Aquaman? No, I did not. So, surprise, that was Julie Andrews. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't watch Aquaman not yet. yet. Not yet. It was um, like a like a boss babe from under the sea uh, called Katos. It started with a K. Maybe you guys know um, okay. if you've already oh, watched was the movie. It, is it Mara's mom? Uh, I'm not sure. Or is it? So I don't, I'm not, I'm not, it, it might be. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I just know. wanted to let you know since you were talking about how much you love Julie Andrews. Uh, oh, Fred would probably know. She had an incredible voice. Yes, she did. <laughs> or does. She does. <laughs> She's still alive. She's still kicking. She's still doing her thing. I'm sure Fred would be the one to know, honestly, who who's in, who Julie Andrews is. I think we're going IMDB is. right now for us, or I could do it since my phone's right here. Oh boy. <laughs> Phone time. Um, but we don't have to. Since, um, all right, we don't have that much time left, but one thing that I did want to touch on, because it's the time of the year of all of these wrap-ups and roundups and wrapping things. <laughs> I wanted to talk about, no, it's monster protector like a boss fight in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So, um, I wanted to talk about what our favorite shows of 2018 were. And that is a very difficult, it took me a little while to narrow down to five shows. Yeah. I couldn't even I couldn't even narrow it down to my favorite show of 2018. I had to narrow it down to five. So maybe we can I can narrow it down to one. To one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Haunting of Hill House. That's on my list. The Haunting of Hill House. That show was excellently written and excellently directed. Shot. directed. It was just so good. So good. Haunting of Hill House is definitely one of my top shows of 2018. Do you have any other ones that you 
Um, I really enjoyed the second season. I actually am enjoying the third season, too, of This Is Us. Oh, I didn't even put that one on my list, but because... Yeah. I know it's not, like, geeky, or it's not, like, you know, creepy. It's just a family drama. <laughs> but dramedy? Yeah, I guess it's a comedy. No, it's a drama. It's a drama. <laughs> family dramas are relatable. <laughs> like, families cause a lot of drama. <laughs> I know my family has a lot of drama, so it's like, I relate to This Is Us. Aside from, like, all the, I don't, there, there are very particular things that happen in This Is Us that I don't think happen to every family. Right. There's very unique drama. <laughs> so that's why I think it's very interesting. So my favorite shows of 2018, I can't believe this isn't even on your list, or unless it is, but you haven't brought it up, The Chilling Sabrina? Adventures of Sabrina. Yeah. yeah. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. It was a hard, it was a bit tough for me to get into, but once I got into it, I was mm-hmm. in it. I put aside my feelings of this is gonna be so lame. Like that, I went. I, I I knew that I would have thought it was lame, had I not put that bias aside, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when I did and sat down to watch the entire first season, or yeah, first season in two days, I I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with how awesome they handled just. Um, witchcraftery <laughs> right and I, I think that they really did pull the fantasy aspect the, fa- the fantasy aspect but also like the real life aspect of of being a teenager being a teenager yeah it, it's it was really good and along with that whole satanic vibe <laughs> I really loved American Horror Story Apocalypse it was magnificent and I thought in starting I thought in starting too it's lame yeah, like, you, you get that. Some people believe that archy things can come off as cheesy, corny, cheesy. Those are some adjectives that, you know, generally people describe. might describe <laughs> our, uh, the archy universe to be. Uh-huh. But Sabrina, I think, always has had that coolness factor to her. Even prior, like, I mean, I never read the Sabrina comics, mm-hmm. so the only taste of Sabrina I ever got was, was Melissa CW. Joan Hart's. <laughs> it, it was not a CW, it was ABC. Maybe uh, it was Melissa Joan Hart's Sabrina. No, that's Warner Brother. WB. W- it wasn't on the WB. Yeah. What was it? Unless I watched the syndicated version on the you WB. Probably watched the syndicated version. That was on ABC? Yeah, it was on ABC. There's no way. That was on WB11. Nope. I'm gonna look at it. So. I'm gonna um, fact check. Sorry, that. I'm like gooey right now. <laughs> um, I think one. I don't know. It's not really new, but um, Kim's Convenience on Netflix. What's that? I've never heard of it. It's about a Korean family oh. in Toronto. Mm-hmm. I think it's Toronto, you and they own a convenience store, and it's just so cute, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an awesome one. So is AH AHS good? So I can answer that question for you. The not all of American Horror Story is good. Um, you definitely want to watch Murder House, which is season one. And you uh, want to watch... Season three. Season Coven. three, which is Coven. And that's it. Well, then Apocalypse. <laughs> because Apocalypse um, ties both season one and three together. And it is just... It's so good. <laughs> it's so... If you want to get into American Horror Story, I would say skip all of the really, really crappy seasons. <laughs> just watch one, three, and the very last one. <laughs> that's it. Julie Andrews, it's Karathan. I knew it, Karathan. It started with a K. I said that. <laughs> That's like my middle name. Not really. Karathan. I love Kim. Me too. Um, I hate that WB, they ruined Justice League. <laughs> yeah. Warner it was Brothers. a great, it was an okay movie, Justice League. That came out almost, yeah, a year ago that came out. And um, I went and saw it, I was like, that was okay. <laughs> that was it. Um, T Justice is coming back. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, so I want to just talk. With, I, I'm trying to just hurry up because the, the comic shop's going to open pretty soon, and we're going to get kicked out of here. Get and the boot. <laughs> get the boot. <laughs> the boot, literally. So my other two favorite Netflix shows, um, which wow, most of these have been Netflix shows that I loved, except for American Horror Story. So oh, Glow. Yes. I forgot about Glow. You cheated on... You looked at my list. You cheater. I was not cheating. Cheating. She's a cheater. Glow was a great (laughs) second season. Yes. It was an amazing second season. Amazing second season of Glow. They really built upon what they established in the first season instead of trying to rehash this first season again. 
like a lot of you know second seasons are when it comes to these breakout hit shows. Mm-hmm. So um, I expect the third season to be nothing less oh, than wonderful. Absolutely, Mark Maron has done an amazing job at evolving as an actor too, because he re- he's not an act he's not an actor. He's a comedian who acts as himself, but in this show, he does a very good job at acting. <laughs> and, uh, Glow is going to be a comic. It's going to it be is gonna... a comic book. That's the news for this week. Is it? Oh, yeah. You told yeah. me that. And I didn't even include that in, in our geek news. But we're right. Nine Nine. I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm not caught up with it. I'm kind of like a casual, like, I'll put on an episode kind of deal. Oh, but, um, oh see, people are trying to get into yeah, the comic Yeah, people are trying to bust through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, we're not um, open. We're not and open. we don't even work here. <laughs> we just... I thought there was one more. Oh, Mi- Miss Ma- Mrs. Maisel is wonderful. I love it. I'm on the second season. Um, it took me a while to get into the second season a bit, mm-hmm. but now that the, it's like everything's up and running, I'm pretty happy with it. So are you also, see, I, it was hard for me, this is a hard thing for me to say because of how much I loved the previous seasons, but I haven't been able to continue Man in the High Castle. Um, I haven't finished that yet. It's so heavy. That it's like you really need to be in the mindset for it. Maybe that's it because I'm looking. It's very heavy. I'll put it on thinking, kind of like Brooklyn Nine Nine. You just put it on so you can watch it, but that's not a show to just put no, on. It's a show that's <laughs> like you have to you you have to be invested. And after that fifth episode, I needed a a, a, a break. <laughs> <laughs> but it was um, you should hold on to the fifth episode until the fifth episode. Oh, that's what you said because I think I stopped at around four. So I'll give it one more right, one, I, one more go. Yeah, one more go. A and, lot happens in the fifth episode. And I think that's it for our favorite shows. The only one that I wanted to give like a full mention to was Dear White People on Netflix. I don't think it's a show that many people watch, uh, but I do. Excuse me. I do enjoy the commentary of Dear White People. I think that it's it's just, it's something good for that gen. It's definitely made for a, a, sh- um, a shorter <laughs> a shorter generation. <laughs> I'm like three, for, so. For a younger generation um, than us. I mean, we're, we're <laughs> in our me. late 20s, so I think this one's made for, like, late teens, early 20s. But I think that's good. I, the... The social commentary that it has is excellent, and it's excellently acted. There are amazing um, actors in that show. So yeah, if you have wanted something to watch uh, this weekend on your break, you can just keep rewinding back and listen to all the shows that we just mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> and then aside, oh bless you, Jenna. Yes, thank you, James. Thank I you didn't even. <laughs> did she sneeze? Because I yeah. didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just talking That's over here. Just you know, par for the course. Anywho, um, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Merry we Christmas. Will see you, we will see you. We got one more live stream before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. So. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Yeah, send us your questions. <laughs> um, you know, your end of the year questions. Yes. West Coast rules. Yes, we like the West Coast. West Coast rules. Uh, yes, it does. I do love the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go. All right, bye. Bye. Let's start a fire figuratively.